Question four. The distance of a car will travel using one gallon of fuel is called its fuel economy. The fuel economy of a number of cars with different engine sizes is shown below. So the fuel engine economy miles per gallon goes up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and growing, going across is the engine size in litres. Use a scatter diagram to answer the following questions. State the fuel economy of the car with a larger size engine. So larger size engine is going across. So the biggest engine, the car with the biggest engine would be this one, which is four litres. And they want the fuel economy. So what I would do, I would draw a line from four up to my dot. Then a line straight across. And where that is straight across, you can see it's between 20 and 30. You're going up in ones. So it's 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So the answer for that would be 24 because the next one up would be 25. So the fuel economy is 24 miles per gallon. Part B. State the engine size of the car with a fuel economy of 42 miles per gallon. So we're going to go this time. We're going to go up to 40. So that's 40. 41 is the next line, 42 is the one above that. So 42 is 2 above 40, so I'm going to draw a line across. The only one on that line is this point. I'm going to draw a line down. And now we've got to think of this. That's 2, that's 2.5. In the middle of 2.5 would be 2.25. So then 5 little squares make 0 0.25. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. So going up 2.05, 2.1, 2.15, 2.2. So the answer to this one would be 2.2 litres. Calculate the mean fuel economy of the five cars with the smallest engine sizes. Mean is you add them all up and divide by how many they are. So you're going to add up the five, so look at the smallest engine sizes. So engine sizes. The smallest five engine sizes would be this one, this one, two, three, four, and five, because they are all below 1.5. So they want to not find the mean, mean fuel economy. So this first one by there, so we've got a 17. The second one, we've got a 55. We've got a 53. A 55, 56, 57, and we got a 48. So 48, 53, 55, and 57. So let's double check. 17, 48, 53, 55, 57. So I'm going to add up them five numbers. So let's line them up, 17, 48, 53, 55, 57. So I'm going to line them up, start on the unit, 7, 12, 15, 23, 30, note on carry the 3, 3, 8, 13, 18, 22, 23. So the total is 23, so I can do how many 5s in 230? 5 into 2 don't go, no, don't carry the 2. 5 into 23, 4 times, 3 left over. 5 into 36 times. So the answer to that is 46 miles per gallon. Why is this not a suitable average for cars with engine sizes of less than 1.5? Because if we look into this one, the average ones for 1.5, most of them are between 48 and 57. So the 17 is an outlier. and will bring the mean down. You, you know, and you could also say like four out of five cars of 48 and over. So 46 is too low. Okay, so the 17 is an outlier and we'll bring the mean down. Four out of the five cars are 48 and over, so 46 is too low. Right, draw by eye a line of best fit. So a line of best fit must be done with a ruler. 
going through roughly the middle of the points. It doesn't have to start at zero. So if I'm looking at this one, I would probably sort of say it's going to go up through there. That would have roughly the, num the same number of points above the line and below. Right, Sean says, the scatter diagram is more reliable to estimate the fuel economy cars with engines less than 2.5 litres. Do you think Sean is correct? So engines less than two and a half. If we look at the engines less than two and a half, a lot of them are, apart from that one value there, they are all pretty close to the line of best fit. So it means they are all pretty much on target. So I would say yes. And the reason being, they, um, the reason being, they are all scattered about the line of best fit. They're all scattered. about the line of best fit apart from one outlier.